Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. So today I'm going to be talking about how to read your face, read your body and know whether you have signs of anemia or low iron. Today I decided to keep my face completely bare. I normally put makeup on um, because that's what we all do. We try to cover up the blemishes, cover up the circles, cover up anything on our face that is just not beautiful and pretty. But what's really, really important is that you take the time to look at your face when it is completely clear of makeup, clear of chemicals, so you can really understand what your body is trying to tell you. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the things that your face could be telling you about whether you have a nutritional deficiency, a mineral deficiency, or a vitamin deficiency, and specifically if you are anemic. So there are certain things that your face is going to show, things are going to show up on your face that are clear indications that you need to get your iron levels up. What I want you to do is I want you to take your makeup off, completely take your makeup off. You're going to look in the mirror and look for these certain signs that your body is not producing enough red blood cells. Symptom number one is very light lips. So as you can see, the, the color of my lips are very pale. My lips used to be red when I was a teenager. Uh, there, there was more life to the color of my lips. Now, as you can see, my lips are very light. There is no color. There, you can even see a little bit of blue on the bottom edges of the lips. This is an indication that you're not getting enough red blood cells production in your body. Something else is that if your lips are chapped, so mine aren't as bad as they can be, but my lips are very chapped at the moment. So three things, chapped lips, very pale color lips, and blue showing at the bottom line of your lip line. Those are indications that you have anemia and that your iron is very low. Second indication that you could have anemia or what your face is trying to tell you is you have a very pale complexion. So as you can see, I am sitting in front of a big window right now, but my face is very pale. So I, I look I look extremely washed out, very pale. Normally the foundation that I put on has a bit of a tan color to it just to give me that glow because if I don't wear makeup, this is basically what anemia looks like. It's uh, it's not that, it's not very attractive, but just remember that these are indications that you need to get your body back in balance. Third symptom of anemia that you can recognize right on your face are circles under the eyes. So as you can see, I have dark circles under the eyes. Even though I'm sleeping enough, I'm getting enough rest. That's another indication that the iron levels are low, we need to get them up. So a fourth indication that you have anemia is actually if you look at your fingernails and you see that they are very brittle, dry, that you see these lines, these vertical lines on your nails, that's a symptom of anemia. Um, a lot of people, again, we cover our nails up with nail polish to make them look pretty. We cover our face with makeup to make us feel and look beautiful, but what we're doing is we're trying, we're hiding the underlying inner imbalances of our bodies, and if we ignore that for too long, things can get worse and worse. A fifth symptom of anemia is very dry, brittle hair. So I, I don't have my hair down today because I have to wash it, and I was actually just on my way to the gym, um, but my hair used to be very silky, very strong, it didn't break easily. And now, because my iron is very low, my iron level, my ferritin level is a nine, uh, I notice that my hair is a bit more brittle, dry, coarse, it, the ends break. Uh, it's just not as smooth and free flowing as it normally is. Now, a sixth symptom of low iron or anemia is take a look at your eyebrows. My eyebrows have thinned out so much in the last few years. I used to have very thick eyebrows, and again, what I normally do in the morning is I pencil them in to make them look thicker. If, you have, if you've noticed that your eyebrows have gotten a lot thinner, or you have lost the fullness in them, and even especially in the corners here, if you find that 
the uh, eyebrows are really thinning out at the end and at the tip here this is a sign of anemia and low iron if you have very heavy menstrual bleeding during that time of the month if you have heavy periods you are losing a ton of blood a lot more blood than the average person should be losing and this takes such a toll on your body I, I have been going through this for so long now and a lot of people don't understand why there are days where I literally cannot leave my house because I am bleeding so heavy the anemia is causing very very high fatigue levels um, just not feeling like socializing not feeling like talking to anyone and just feeling completely drained. If you recognize any of these facial signs that I just talked about, I would go and talk to your doctor and make sure that you get your iron and ferritin levels checked. Make sure that they're in the optimal range because if you're feeling really low energy, this could be why. If you're struggling with heavy periods, I really would love to hear your story. How long have you been dealing with this for? Is it something that has just recently started? Have you been struggling for a very long time like I have? Please leave a comment below, share your story. I love reading your comments and I love responding to them. And again, more and more women are joining this community and again, I'm just so surprised how many women are actually struggling with very heavy menstrual bleeding. This isn't something that we should be taking lightly. Uh, I really want to help you feel better, feel energized, and just get back to your awesome self. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or anything related to heavy bleeding, anemia, uh, low iron, periods, leave your questions in the comments below and I'll make sure to do a video and answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.